Ken Anderson calls on Bolton fans to cancel protest before West Brom game. Bolton chairman Ken Anderson has warned supporters that any protests before their clash against West Brom later this month will not hasten his exit from the Trotters. Anderson says he has become aware that some fan groups are planning demonstrations against his rule for their televised Skybet championship fixture against the Baggies on January 21. Initial plans centered on supporters walking out of the University of Bolton Stadium in the 58th minute. Symbolic because of Wanderers' FA Cup final victory over Manchester United in 1958. Anderson defended his position and urged anyone planning to join the protests to reconsider. Writing on the club's website, he said, I've noted that some fans' groups have organized a protest for our game against West Brom on Monday 21 January. While I'm pleased that they have changed their minds not to walk out of the game on the 58th minute I also don't feel it is a good idea for them to hold their protest march before the game kicks off. I don't think that this benefits anyone and can only bring negative publicity to the club. It certainly won't make me rush into selling the club if that's the real intention of the march. I have always made my position absolutely clear in so far as that if and when a new investor came forward that I would be a willing seller if that would enable the club to have better financial resources and prospects going forward. I really do hope that those who are planning and taking part in the proposed march think again and that the game can go ahead without any distractions for the players. In the summer, Bolton players went on strike after they were not paid. They avoided administration in September after former owner Eddie Davis gave the club a loan just days before he died. On December 10, Anderson insisted there would be no mass exodus of players during the January transfer window to try to balance the club's books. It was reported this week that Bolton had been hit with separate winding up petitions by HM Revenue and Customs, HMRC, and football agency Stellar Football Limited though the club on Wednesday denied they had been served.